Tyra. Tyra. Are you mad at me? Tyra. Are you mad at me? Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So by this thumbnail and by the title of this video, you guys already know what we're gonna be getting into. We're gonna be getting into my new puppy, my miniature poodle, Cairo. He's sleeping right now on my legs and I just want you guys to see him. Oh, look, look at him. He's dozing off, he's like, I wanna go sleep. Okay, I'm gonna let him just lay back down. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you guys a little backstory on Cairo. Cairo is actually um, an early birthday gift from my boyfriend. And so I just decided that I wanted him now <laughs> before my birthday actually came. So um, we went to go pick him up on January 7th of this year. And he was born September 3rd of 2020. He is, I guess now, like four months old. And to be honest, he's like the little child I never thought I would need or I never thought I wanted. For the longest time, I always told my boyfriend like, oh, I want a dog, I want a puppy, I want a puppy. And I always thought that I wanted those really, 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 really small dogs. But I want to be able to take my dog out for a walk, us go running, you know. Imagine me going and, you know, walking like a squirrel. And that's around the size of the dog that I thought I wanted. And uh, and then we run in and he runs us and a car hit him or a rock hit him. Like, I would feel so sad and I feel like I'm clumsy. Not to say I'm gonna hurt my dog, but it's just like I'm clumsy and I know that if I'm clumsy, that dog gonna be clumsy too. So I was just like, okay, no. Um, my boyfriend actually talked me into getting a miniature because he was telling me that, no, a toy's gonna be really, really, really small and that's not what you really want. So um, I took that leap of faith and I listened to him and um, I went online. I think that he had a post on Greenfield Puppies and that's where I found him. And when I saw his picture, he just looks like, this time won't you save me? This time won't you save me? <laughs> it's like, nah, but like, to be honest, he just looks so sad in that post and so i just sent the the picture the screenshot to my boyfriend and i said i think i found him i think this is the dog that i want he was just like you know what let's go this saturday and that's exactly what we did we picked up and we drove to pennsylvania which is about uh, an hour and a half from me and guys like when i first saw him to be honest um when i first picked him up i was like oh he a little bit heavy a little bit. I was like, oh, what he even eating? But after I brought him home and took him his like first shower, I was like, it was just hair. And as a toy poodle, what I really, really, really like is that they don't shed and they're hypoallergenic. So um, I don't have like hairs attaching to like my sweater, my pants, my, my furniture. Um, I just really, really like that fact because if you guys didn't know, I did have a dog before and his name was King, but during grad school, I had to kind of give him away because of unfortunate circumstances. Like I was working full time and going to school full time and I didn't feel like I was giving him the time that he needed um, as a dog. And I don't feel like he was living his best life. So I had to stop being selfish and allow him to, you know, change the lives of somebody else, even if it can't be myself. King's fur would just, be everywhere like I would go somewhere and you would know that I had a dog because I would just have these these hairs sticking everywhere so that was one of the major keys when it, when it came to me picking a, a dog I wanted a dog that did not shed and I wanted a dog that was soft because I'm a touchy feely type of person so like I'm just like I'll be touching and, and petting him and he he loves it he loves being petted so it's been about three weeks that i got him and i think that friday right before the saturday that i picked him up i went down to PetSmart, and thank god PetSmart is literally like five five minutes down the street from my house and i went and i got him cage some food and i also got his little necklace thingy made in this little machine. I think I'm gonna insert the clip of um, them actually engraving his name onto his little keychain that I found at um, PetSmart. And that was pretty cool. 
And so when we were leaving on that Saturday, I went ahead and I, I took his collar, I took his leash and a box with a, like a blanket and put it inside just so he has something to lay in for those hour and a half that we would be on the road. Guys, my boyfriend is really the best. I don't like telling him this all the time because sometimes he would get big headed, but he's really the best. He actually got me a gift card to PetSmart um, for one of my Christmas gifts. So most of everything that I got, the card covered. I'm gonna insert some clips of me seeing him with his mom. I just felt like, you know, uh, I just wanted to see how big his mom was so I can kind of kind of get an idea of how big he's gonna get. So I believe his mom weighs more than his dad. So they, the lady told me that his mom was about mm, 10 to 12 pounds and his dad was 10 pounds. So she told me that um, she's not sure if he's going to even get too big, but um, I feel like now looking at him from the time that we went to go pick him up, he's a little bit taller. And if it's not that, it's because um, we did trim him up because he was a little bit more fluffy. Oh um, guys, I would show you, but um, yeah, he is not out like an actual baby like look at this look at this like an actual like baby he's like knocked out he does be sleeping like this on the regular sometimes but i think that he's actually sleepier today because he ate he ran outside a little bit and then uh, i think he didn't really get that much sleep yesterday because i went to sleep late and usually he wants everybody to sleep at the same time so he would not go to sleep if I'm if I'm still like awake. So potty training has actually been a little bit of a breeze, guys, because after the first week, he did have a few accidents here and there. And the, the weird thing is he's scared to use the bathroom in front of me. I think he has very high anxiety. Um, I didn't know that some people grow, you know, the dogs at a puppy mill. And I didn't really know much about a puppy mill until I got him, guys. But um, my boyfriend was telling me that Basically, they, they get, the Amish people will get it from a puppy meal and then they will bring him to like wherever you're gonna meet them to come and take the dog. And I looked up puppy meals and I was just like, dang, like it looks a little bit scary, like these puppy meals. I feel like they go through a lot of trauma in the puppy meals. So that's probably why they are very, very shy or a lot of them are, are shy like that. He wasn't really doing a good job at peeing on the pads. Um, to me, it was kind of like a good and bad thing because once he started peeing and pooping outside, that became a repetitive thing where whenever he wants to use the bathroom, he knows he has to go outside. But the only downside is it of it is like I just spent like $30 on these puppy pads from PetSmart and um, he ain't using it. So now it's just kind of taking up space in the, in the closet. But I feel like because now I have him learning these things at a young age he's gonna grow up and he's just gonna like perfect everything after the second week he started learning different things like i want to kind of teach him how to be obedient and youtube university has been great to me because the basic maneuvers of a dog sometimes that um, I would see I try to teach him so YouTube was very very helpful and I'm gonna drop a video After this one or following this video I'm just showing you the different things that he learned within two weeks of being with me and how I was able to tr properly train him and To be honest one thing I did learn is not every dog is different but I feel like with repetitive motions, they will like kind of grasp the concept of what you're talking about. And so like he's been very, very, very good at grasping concepts and understanding. And I feel like he's very, very smart. So I just wanted to introduce Cairo to you guys and to let you guys know that we have a new member to the family. Um, I will be sharing the different things that we'll be going through with him, you know, his first doctor's visit, all of that. Um, I'll just let you guys know about different things like the insurances, the upkeep, and any special moments 
that happens, I will be creating an Instagram for him. So I'm gonna leave that down below. So don't forget to follow him on Instagram because his mommy here is gonna make sure that he has bomb content and he's gonna, you know, grow his own following. I want you guys to also, you know, enjoy the time and the engagement that I do share with him as well. Make sure you guys do follow his page on Instagram and make sure you follow me as well. I'll leave all the handles down below. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys later. Bye.